The time of the first advent and of some of the chief events clustering about the Savior's life work was made known by the angel Gabriel to Daniel. Seventy weeks, said the angel, are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy. Daniel chapter 9 verse 24. A day in prophecy stands for a year. See Numbers chapter 14 verse 34 and Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 6. The seventy weeks or four hundred and ninety days represent four hundred and ninety years. A starting point for this period is given. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks and threescore and two weeks. Daniel chapter 9 verse 25 Sixty-nine weeks or four hundred and eighty-three years. The commandment to restore and build Jerusalem as completed by the decree of Artaxerxes Longamanus See Ezra chapter 6 verse 14 and chapter 7 verses 1 and 9 went into effect in the autumn of B.C. 457. From this time, 483 years extend to the autumn of A.D. 27. According to the prophecy, this period was to reach to the Messiah, the Anointed One. In A.D. 27, Jesus at His baptism received the anointing of the Holy Spirit and soon afterward began His ministry. Then the message was proclaimed, The time is fulfilled. Mark chapter 1 verse 15 Then said the angel, He shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, seven years. For seven years after the Savior entered on His ministry, the gospel was to be preached especially to the Jews. For three and a half years by Christ Himself, and afterward by the apostles. In the midst of the week He shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. In the spring of A.D. 31, Christ, the true sacrifice, was offered on Calvary. Then the veil of the temple was rent in twain, showing that the sacredness and significance of the sacrificial service had departed. The time had come for the earthly sacrifice and oblation to cease. The one week, seven years, ended in A.D. 34. Then, by the stoning of Stephen, the Jews finally sealed their rejection of the gospel. The disciples who were scattered abroad by persecution went everywhere preaching the word. Acts chapter 8 verse 4 And shortly after, Saul the persecutor was converted and became Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles.